We all have frustrations with Destiny. I do, you do, we all do. So what are some things that Destiny needs in order to become the game that we want it to be? Welcome to Top 5, where today we'll be looking at the top 5 ways that long term Destiny could become the best game ever. First, an honorable mention to quality of life changes, that's stuff like volume sliders, more interesting way to farm planetary materials, skipping cutscenes, stuff like that. But for the purposes of this video, I will be speaking about long term adjustments. Number 5. Player Generated Content No developer is ever going to be able to keep up with the players who play their game, ever. We consume content so quickly that it's impossible to keep up. My first trip through the Vault of Glass was a 13 hour grind, which sounds very long, but Vault of Glass definitely doesn't take as long to do now. Vault of Glass wasn't developed in 13 hours or even 13 days. It took a lot of planning to make that. While I've never experienced Forge Mode in Halo, I know that this is something Destiny needs for sure. If you really want something for players to do every day that's actually new, why not let the players build some of their own content? It doesn't have to be limited to Crucible maps either, imagine if you could create your own strike. What about community contests for creating new game modes? I know Sparrow Racing was huge on Reddit, what if we could do that? Set up a start and finish line, create our own tracks to race on, imagine if you can use your super as a power up. This introduces insane longevity to a game. I like to think of Destiny as MMO light, an MMO for people who don't have insane amounts of time on their hands. But for those of us who can play for longer periods of time, we gobble up content very quickly. If you can allow players to make content for each other, Bungie will have an infinite supply of content for players. It's great for both parties, players and Bungie. Players can play new stuff all the time and Bungie can focus more on building their own content and patching current content without maybe having to feel rushed. Obviously rewards for this player generated content would have to be regulated if there are any rewards at all. But I personally don't care that much about the rewards for player generated content. There's a reason you don't earn experience in say, private matches in Call of Duty, so you can't game the system. Did you guys hear that? Was that a perfect segue into my next point? Hell yes it was. Number 4. Crucible Matchmaking and Further Improvements For being the so-called pioneers of multiplayer online matchmaking and play, it is currently very... not there. Why private matches were not in the game at release, I will never know, but the sooner this comes, the better. I guess you could consider your faction reputation as a sort of guideline for leveling in the Crucible, but people really enjoy that sense of progression in PvP. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, the list goes on. Number 3. Clan Support I know for a fact that if I didn't have a clan in Destiny, I would not be playing it nearly as often. Unfortunately, not a lot of people realize that having a clan in this game makes it so much better. Unfortunately, yet again, the in-game clan support is limited to showing your clan tag underneath your name. That's it. My clan has a TeamSpeak server that we use at all times of the day, sort of like a guild chat. We all have our battle stations, so to speak, set up in a way where we can listen to each other on TeamSpeak and not have the game echo through to the other people on the TeamSpeak. I talk with my clan every single day and we have people from all over the United States and a bunch of people in Europe and a few Australians as well. They're all my friends now and I only met them because of Destiny. I feel bad for those people playing this game solo because it's just not the way it was designed to be played. For you MMO players, you wouldn't start playing World of Warcraft and then not join a guild. There's a reason so many people are in guilds, it's more fun. I've made so many friends over my decade of MMO style gaming and I've met a bunch of them in real life, it's just better. It's the people that you play with that will keep you coming back. That's why I played World of Warcraft for so many years, hell it's the reason I'm playing it again. My Destiny friends are all playing the new World of Warcraft expansion. If they weren't playing it, I wouldn't be playing it. Destiny needs something like our team speak, a way for people to communicate with each other to enjoy each other's company. Make it so you can walk into an instanced area of the tower for members of your clan only and have a hangout room with proximity chat. This game is more fun with friends. It wants to be a social game, but it has none of those elements in the game to support it. I remember reading that Bungie enjoys seeing the community solve problems, but there's only so many problems that can be solved until Bungie needs to step in. Number 2. Story People always tell me that the story sucks in Destiny. The thing is, it really doesn't. It's just all hidden in a place where not many people go to find it. Remore cards are an incredibly interesting read, something I think everyone should be looking into. 
If you don't have all the ghosts, I highly suggest getting them and reading the Grimoire cards because they're really fascinating. But here's my question, why isn't this stuff in the game? These cards are really interesting. The lore behind everything is interesting. You can have storytelling in a game like this, although please let's introduce a press X to skip cutscene button in there somewhere. At the very least, Grimoire support needs to be added into the game because I know a vast majority of the people do not go to Bungie.net and read Grimoire cards. For rich cinematic storytelling being on the damn box, there really wasn't a lot of it. Number 1. Destiny is not an MMO, but it needs to be treated like one. Like Bungie has said in the past, Destiny is not an MMO, it's a shooter. But also like they've said in the past, it's very different from Halo. With Halo, they built the game, they sent it out the door, and they started on the next one. Destiny requires more attention to its world and faster response times to things happening. Exploits like being able to essentially push all raid bosses off of cliffs should be hotfixes within hours or days, not weeks. The fact that it's still even possible to do it is shameful considering they've known about it for so long. I realize that to fix one thing you need to make sure that you're not going to break everything else, but for something so game breaking, for your end game to be exploitable in such a fashion, that can't happen. The raid itself has had so many broken things for over a month now, especially regarding the Templar fight. I haven't been able to get in a flawless raider run because every time my group has gone in, we've been forced to wipe because of detained shields not showing up, or the relic breaking, or invisible oracles, or you name it. Or how about the freaking end screen at the end of the raid? It's been broken since launch and two months later, still not fixed. Even stuff like the loot cave, which did get hot fixed, imagine if, for any of you MMO players out there, you could go to the starting zone of your MMO of choice and get some of the best gear in the game by killing low level enemies for a week, with no penalty. Something like that would get hotfixed so fast you wouldn't even know it existed. Imagine if you could push Nefarian off the cliff in World of Warcraft. That would have been hotfixed in hours, not weeks. I'll be the first to admit, I don't know what it takes to patch or hotfix on consoles over PC. I don't even know what goes into it in PC. I don't know how much time it really takes to add a mechanic where Templar instantly teleports back to the center of the room if moved too far from his leash, or just to make it so Templar doesn't move at all in regards to getting out of the way of AoE grenades. I'm sure that there's a lot more red tape that Bungie needs to go through for patching on consoles. But when you have a game like Destiny being so exploitable, and let's be honest, buggy, for so long, it's just unacceptable. I know the people over at Bungie aren't just sitting around counting money. It's not like they want the game to be buggy. They have many reasons to make the game good, monetary or not. It's in their best interest to make sure the game is good as it can be, especially if they would like to keep working on the franchise. But the fact that we've barely gotten even any recognition that yes, the raid is indeed broken beyond pushing things off of cliffs is another problem in itself. I fully believe that Destiny will become what we all thought it was going to be. It's just going to take some time. World of Warcraft hasn't become the behemoth that it is without extra time. They've had years to develop and refine their game. The problem is now that if any competitor, and I'm not saying Destiny is a competitor to World of Warcraft given one is a true MMORPG and the other is a shooter, but the problem is if that any competition tries to compete with something like World of Warcraft, unless they have everything that WoW has at release, it's not going to be received well. WoW has had 10 years to develop. Destiny will evolve to that point where we have the clan support, the story we wanted, and player generated content, and all that stuff. It just needs more time to get there. If you're feeling burnt out on Destiny, or you feel like you've done everything that there is to do, just take a break. Come back for the expansion feeling refreshed. This feeling happens in MMOs all the time. There's only a finite amount of things you can do before you've done everything, and don't feel like doing it all again. It's totally normal. The best advice I could give is try to find a clan. Check out clansofdestiny.com, take a look around. Try to navigate bungie.net for clans as well and see what kind of people you can find. Make friends. You might need to resort to other methods of staying in touch, but I guarantee you will eventually find people that you like playing with on a daily basis, and that's the most important thing you can do for a game like Destiny. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for me in the top 5. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Use it well. Yeah. Oh great, my nades are not showing up anymore. Uh, That's a great sign. Yeah, one of the one of the goblins I, I was shooting just disappeared. What the hell, my grenades? Yeah, they're not gonna work. Yeah. They're not gonna work. Let's stare. What the hell, dude?
Just what? click the start menu. I have like a big uh, black blob on my screen. Yeah, I don't have a, yeah. I don't have a guy. Yeah, I have a big I have a big splotch on my screen. Yeah, yeah it's, big foot. it's on the left hand side. You're um, yeah, it's a foot. Oh, 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 Okay, oh, well, uh, <laughs> we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go try and kill Templar, and then we something's gonna dude. break, and then Not we're gonna here. wipe it, and then we'll do it again. Here we go. Can't wait for everyone to get permanently. Upper right, team. Oracle. Hello, Upper right, Oracle. Oh, no, I can't oh see God, it. sorry. Left stairs. I need to show. I didn't hear it. Left stairs, just, left stairs. You're yelling at a location. I didn't know why you were saying that location. I was like, yeah, I'm here. What's up? <laughs> Spawn. And Dado is punching invisible things. Great. Damage. Yeah, I'm permanently detained <laughs> as well. No. Great. I'm permanently detained. Uh, Oracle, Oracle. Far, uh, low, low right. Is this yeah. how we me, uh, bug com legend? Upper right, <laughs> yeah. I just, just wipe it. This is so stupid. This is so I annoying. I, I can't wipe it. Wipe, what are you but... talking about? Well, hang on. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> tiptoe. I'm gonna tiptoe towards the... <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna get you free. <laughs> Accept it. Choose life, Dado. Almost there. We're still oh, doing this. No. I think we got this. There we go. Oh, there goes no. Frazier, Leopard. Let's get you now. Hello, I got this. Oh my, my name didn't show up. Keep, <laughs> keep. There we go. Oh, okay, there we go. So now, uh, now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cleanse to be an asshole. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> All right. So that's fun.